Hello, everybody. This is me, Martel. Sorry for my voice. And so I'm fighting this weird cold all of a sudden. I took my cold medicine like two hours ago. So I'm waiting for the kick in. Take some. <laughs> took my sleep medicine or sleeping vitamins. It's about Ali. O L L Y. I don't even know how to pronounce this. I ain't gonna front. But it's supposed to help me um fall asleep or so. But anyways. Here's a shallow question. Here's a judgmental topic. Does looks matter? Does beauty matter? You know, me and my lady, we just have some very colorful conversation. Yet to discuss what we're talking about. What happens if your looks fade? You know, when you, your looks fade? You know, say, for myself, example, let's say your hair fall out, you gain weight, you lose weight, whatever. It ain't my place to judge. Then what? What happened? Would they love you thick and fit? Would they be with you thick and fit? You know, that's where I was brought up. You know what I'm saying? But Martel, that sounds very judgmental, Martel. It is. That's a t- that's today's tonight's topic. Does looks matter? You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like indirectly being in the music business for far, almost like 17, going on 20 years, three years from now, I'll be 20 since 2007. I learned very painful how... You know what I'm saying? It, it will be negative. I'm just going to come out the closet. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing positive I'm going to say about this, but growing up, I was insulted for my looks. I was called corny, whack, no disrespect to my LGBT audience, gay, and all that and all that because I don't act or sound like a stereotype anything. And ironically, I'm kind of painfully realizing that I mean, I had to hide my true self um, for so far long into my music, you know what I'm saying, and my commentary and all that, and it is a shallow topic, you know, I usually try to talk some deep stuff, and I, I'm always thinking of deep topics, but for once, I had to bring it down to earth, and just say, does beauty matter, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of shallow when I went to, uh, Swapala, Safara, I don't know, or, uh, ultra, 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 uh, beauty and all that. It was kind of shallow because, especially being the music business, especially as a male, you don't think about, you know, of course, images and all that, stereotypes and reputation, how you present yourself, how you carry yourself and all that. And I realized this being 34 years old that, you know, I know my doctor has been forcing me, you know, about weight and all that. My, and I've been to tell my doctor that I suffer from hair loss. Due to health conditions, I'm not going to go into details. People are jerks and insensitive when I mention about this, but it's a sensitive topic about beauty, you know. And there's some, uh, I don't want to sound insensitive, maybe insecure. I'll, I'll give you the audience instead, but it's insecure. I admit this. Um, what happens if you're not a great looking person? You know what I'm saying? Like on a external kind of things, you know. I usually talk about internal things what I go for and all, but you know, looks do kind of matter. Shallows it sounds, looks matter. So, when your beauty or your good looks fade, that go from both male and female, then what? Do you have any substance? Do you have, you know what I'm saying? I know besides, I'm just songwriter, song publisher, but also, in my true intentions, I'm not just doing this to be rich and famous and anything. That's not even my style and anything. Mine just, Escape from reality, dealing with hardships and all that, just to keep it simple and all that. But, um, yeah, like, perception is very dangerous at times. And you don't even, I, I, I'm always thinking this in the back of my head, like, what happened if my loved one, no disrespect to you, love, like, find another man that's like a hundred times better than my looks, you know what I'm saying? Then what? Well, if my looks fake, you know what I'm saying? Start having, you know, drain hair and balding hair. <laughs> you know, I never used to think. I, I, I would admit as a kid, I always used to get scared being old and lonely and all that. <coughs> Sorry, once again, for my voice. and stuff and all that. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, dang. I was fighting it for a while and all that. Um, probably look like my new, um, vaccinations. I'll be real with y'all for flu and stuff or cold. <laughs>
you know, due to my vulnerabilities. And that's another thing, like, what do you have of value and substance, you know? And I always think about looks. It's kind of funny now in my first, I start thinking about looks because I'm also in the music business. And I'm, you know, talk to uh, my partners and stuff. <laughs> my cousin and all that was just, you know, we had to, I hate to say this sound is shallow. Looks does matter, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm fighting my programming. Just forgive me right now. I'm fighting my programming. <laughs> and I had to learn how to unlearn, too. And that's a um, difficult process, too. It's like unlearn everything to a degree with being taught. But don't forget, my dad always said, don't forget their teachings. Don't forget the teachings and all that. And that kind of reminds me back of like Asian culture. I always think about their teachings and stuff. And mind you, I, I'm just going to come out ableist as I can despite being disabled. I've been called ugly. I've been called retarded and stuff like this. And not knowing it has affected my self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? I always used to think very less of myself, you know what I'm saying? Especially the media and social media makes it even worse as how I... Let me be real. See my own people in a very negative light, you know what I'm saying? Especially against slavery... Unfortunately, buffoonery and foolishness of hip hop and all that. <laughs> and let me be come out the closet for once that I used to be kind of like hate hip hop outside of Will Smith and stuff and Notorious B.I.G. and all that. Kind of weird growing up. Um, I guess at the time it was a renaissance and all that it was a new thing. Hip hop was all that back in the eighties and nineties, especially being a nineties kid, early two thousands and all that. It was not really loud people that's relatable to me so that's why i make these videos you know i didn't have nobody really relatable to me being the only child and all that being with a disability so i'm glad that y'all share me your pain your stories and all that but outside myself aside uh yeah back to what i'm saying oh yeah it looks just man my apologies y'all i'm sorry sometimes i have to go in third person first person i'm going to third person perspective you know what i'm saying i'm always trying to switch switch it up and all. it ain't just about me all the time I, I'm, I'm learning this too don't put don't be about yourself you know what I'm saying but be of yourself uh, be wary how you present yourself you know my dad was telling me you know you are the representation of, of of my parents you know what I'm saying of him and my mom and all that you know what I'm saying and I was an ignorant young child back then you know what I'm saying I didn't think of these things but now I, I started, I'm starting to, you know, start coding. I'm, I'm dealing with the public, you know what I'm saying? Especially on YouTube, social media, and work, you know what I'm saying? That is dealing with the public, you know what I'm saying? And it's very, it makes me anxious and anxiety is acting up and all that at times. But it's hard to fight for the noise at times, you know? So that's why I, I made a shallow video. Does looks matter? And if it does, cool. If it doesn't, or you deny, that's cool too. Ain't no judgment on my part, you know? I'm learning how to be more mature, trying to understand, you know, my audience, my communities and stuff. I'm trying to understand psychology as a whole, you know. But I guess, like, too, I've been so socially isolated for so long. It's kind of like my social abilities had de deteriorated to um, untold levels and all that. It's kind of weird. I wasn't really taught how to be sociable. So, and then I ride and I make videos about that and true force loneliness and stuff like this, you know. So, two first lonely video. I haven't brought, I haven't done that in a couple months. So I guess I bring back right now. Two first loneliness does looks matter. And I want y'all be real, good, bad, whatever. You, you the audience, you tell me for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I care about your well-being, your mental state. And I'm trying to be mindful, listening to law of attractions, affirmation, not to, it was being told not to see myself in such a negative light and all that. And I kind of realized that. Maybe some type of dystopia or something. I don't know. Body dystopia or something. Or, you know. I know how to, I see myself at times. <laughs> that I'm not degenerate. I'm not a, you know, a criminal a scumbag anything. You know what I'm saying? I try to be upstanding, upright, and more. But it seems like people take your kindness for weakness. So, anyways, closing up the video. Does look matter? Does beauty matter? Yes. Let's be real. Look, sell. I mean, that's what be told to me since growing up. Looks do sell. Your reputation sell. Your image sell. Your image sells and all that. Anyways, I won't hold y'all for too long. Martell's out. Good night.